Hi, this is Karen at Karen Schultz Designs, and today I'd like to introduce you to my new Scatter Magic. Scatter Magic was designed to help you create beautiful and unique scatters in mere seconds, and it works in both Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. So, what does Scatter Magic actually do? Well, it will randomly scatter, resize, and or rotate any items that you have in your layers panel based upon the settings that you choose in the Scatter Magic dialog. Each scatter will be different every time, even though you may choose the same parameters. You can scatter embellishments to create full page scatters or a more horizontal scatter based on the document size that you begin with. You can create a gorgeous photo collage by choosing photographs, and you can create unique backgrounds by choosing different papers. And you can also use Scatter Magic with text to create super fun titles. Scatter Magic works as an action, as a drag and drop file, and also with the file open command. All you have to do is discover your favorite way to use this product. In today's video, I'll demonstrate the file open method, but don't worry about having to remember the instructions. I've included clear, easy to follow instructions in the product download and if you prefer to use actions to doing something manually, all of the instructions are included within the action. So let's go ahead and get started. Step one is to create our blank document. So we'll go to File, New. I'm going to leave this at 3600 by 3600 pixels at 300 PPI, and I do need a transparent background, and then click OK. Next, we need to get the elements that we want to scatter into our Layers panel. So we'll go to File. We're not going to use Open, but we're going to use Place, and you do need to use Place. Navigate to the elements you want to scatter, and I'm going to go ahead and scatter these butterflies. Click on one to select it and choose Place, and then you'll need to go back and do that to select all of the elements that you want to use. I'm going to use all of these butterflies. And now I have all of the butterflies in my Layers panel. I do want to make them a little bit smaller though. For a scatter, they're a tad big. So I will click on the first one, hold down the Shift key, click on the last one. That will select all of the layers in between. And I, if I choose the keyboard shortcut command, I'm sorry, Control key, Control T, Command T on a Mac, that will bring up the Transform tool. And I'm going to just grab that corner and make them a little bit smaller. Hit the Enter key, I think that looks fine. We do need to make sure that all of the layers are still selected before we apply the um, Scatter Magic script, and they are all selected already. So I'll go to File, Open, and navigate to the script, which again is the .jsx file. Click on it to select it, and click Open. You will get a question box asking if you really want to run the script, and yes, you do. And then this is where the magic happens. You can choose the number of copies per layer, the size variation of each element, and the angle variation of each element. I'm just going to choose five copies, and I'll leave the size and the angle variation at the default of 50 and 90, and go ahead and click Run. And this is very quick. It takes just a few seconds. And here's our final scatter. Very pretty. If you do want to move anything though, all you need to do is click on a butterfly within the document and move it. Whether you're using the file open command, the drag and drop command, or using this as an action, you will get a unique look with every use. So I hope you have fun with this product. I'd love to see what you do. Thanks for watching.